Are you new to laser engraving and wondering which laser to buy? In this video, I'll give you lots of information to help you decide which laser engraver you want for your next project. I'll go through diode, fiber, and CO2 laser engravers. I'm an artist, designer, and all-round crafter that loves to try absolutely everything creative. I've had some experience with different lasers and over here on my channel I've done various creative laser videos so please take a look at those too. I'll explain to you what I know about lasers in beginner friendly terms. Laser engraving to me it's pure magic. A beam of light that creates these engravings and cuts. It really is amazing. As an artist, laser engravers bring to me a vast wealth of possibilities to broaden my creativity and there's absolutely no need to feel daunted by them. The links for everything that I show are all in the description below the video. My first laser was a diode laser like it is for many beginners. Diode lasers are most often a square or rectangular metal frame. And the laser module attaches to the crossbar and this allows the laser to move left and right and north and south. Diode lasers are pretty budget friendly and you can currently pick one up for around $400 and more. And something at this sort of price range lets you see as a beginner if you're enjoying the craft of laser engraving. This one came with a 10 watt laser module, but with these diode lasers, you can switch out the laser module and upgrade to say 20 watts. Accessories like the rotary attachment are available for these diode lasers, and it enables us to do cylindrical objects like tumblers. Most lasers like this are lightweight and can be moved around your workshop or space. Diode lasers do have slower work speeds, so longer work times. I have cut acrylic on my X-Tool D1 but without consistent results as it won't cut or engrave light colours of acrylic and does nothing to clear acrylic at all. I have had another two diode lasers to try them out but the X-Tool D1 is my preference of diodes. But all the companies keep bringing out new lasers and they're improving all the time. So if you're looking for a laser on a good budget and you want to do just basic laser engraving projects then a diode laser is something to certainly consider. My problem is I don't have a fancy workshop with big extractors to extract the fumes and the smoke that are caused by this open laser because as you can see there's no cover. These ones don't and the fumes to me really are a big problem. And it's much easier for me if I can use the lasers right here in my home without the smoke and the fumes filling the space. So I often took my lasers outside to use. Then the winter came and yes, you can imagine. I like to cut paper, card and wool felt and things like that. And as you can imagine, the wind really doesn't help there. So this is when I discovered the X-Tool F1, a small and portable dual laser with the possibility of adding an air purifier. Yes, please. This X-Tool F1, as you see, has a very small footprint and I can put it away in the cupboard really easily when I'm not using it. And so that's another real bonus for me. Overall, I'd say this is best for engraving and not cutting. With it being a Galvo laser, mirrors, bend that beam of light and sometimes you get angles on your cut as they're further away from the centre of the machine. As it's small and portable it can also be taken to craft fairs and do the projects there in situ. I also have the Laser Pecker 2 and the Laser Pecker 4 but I find having the air purifier with the F1 is an absolute bonus and an absolute must for me being able to use it here inside my home. The downside I know you're thinking with these Galvo lasers is definitely size. Well the work area here is 10 by 10 centimeters, but there is a rotary attachment for tumblers and there's also a slide extension that comes with this F1 enabling us to work on larger pieces. This is a dual laser having a 10 watt diode laser and a 2 watt infrared laser which is definitely its secret weapon enabling a fibre laser engraving process. 
To engrave metal you need a fibre laser. Cutting is possible with a high watt fibre laser, but this is something I don't have any experience with. But I do love that this laser engraves metal really well and really fast too. Deciding which laser is best for you, size is an important decision factor. I have quite a few small projects that this is really handy for, but I appreciate it's not for everyone. But being able to engrave metal with this is a real bonus. So far, if you want your laser to do more cutting, then a diode is a better option. But we do have another option, and that is a CO2 laser. This is my brand new CO2 laser. It's the X-Tool P2 and it promises to be the most versatile of lasers. CO2 lasers can do everything that the diode lasers can do and much more. It's big, it's heavy and it's a stunning machine. This is a 55 watt laser, so more power makes for a faster working time, which takes these lasers from hobby to possible business territory. These require a higher budget as you would expect, but they're designed for you to get through so many more projects in a day. You can of course get much bigger CO2 lasers than this, which are way more expensive, but then we're going into commercial territory. Quite basically, CO2 lasers have a large tube in the back of them, a laser beam passes through this and hits some mirrors and directs the laser beam, it's pretty cool. The P2 has even larger cutting and engraving capabilities as there is a riser as you see here for deep items and a feeder which allows us to feed in a piece of wood or acrylic as we wish. It's even smarter than that and can engrave curved items by using its sophisticated cameras to guide it. I can't wait to try this. I'm sure you've heard of Glowforge. This laser here is a big rival. CO2 lasers are enclosed like this, but they still need the smoke to be extracted. So here is the smoke extractor that you can order to go with the machine. In conclusion, if it's basic cutting and engraving wood, then a diode laser is a great starter, especially if budget is key. If space is at a premium, then something like the F1 I love. And that dual laser on the F1 is great for engraving metal and if you want to engrave metal you need a fibre laser which can be pretty pricey. If you have a higher budget and the desire to have a business starter then a CO2 laser is your friend. Please watch some of my other videos over here as I'll be showing you how wonderfully this works in other videos. All the links for all these products are in the description below. Hopefully with the information in this video you can feel a bit more confident to answer that question of what you want to get out of your new laser and try and find that perfect laser for your next project. I have used all of these with the free software that comes with the lasers. All information in this video is just my own opinions but please do your own further research. Lasers can be very dangerous pieces of equipment, so always follow the safety procedures and make sure your eyes are protected. I also made a video on what materials not to laser. And finally, never leave your laser running unattended. Fires do happen, I have had fires in mine, and we don't want to cause any damage. Stay safe and thank you for watching. See you in the next creative videos.